Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Meredith. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If not, welcome back. I decided to give you guys a junk wallpaper tutorial. I posted like my screensavers on Pinterest and I actually made a YouTube video on unboxing my iPad. And I didn't thoroughly explain how I made it because I was low-key struggling. So I was like, why don't I make a video explaining it thoroughly? So yeah, a lot of people ask me a lot of questions like, oh, where's the wallpaper from? How do you do this? What apps do you use to make it? Um, and just questions like that. So I'm like, why don't I make a video explaining it? I actually made my friend one and it took me about like 20 minutes. And then I made one for my iPad, and then I made one for my MacBook as well. And then, yeah, it's safe to say I'm obsessed with making them. So, why don't I give you guys a tutorial? I'm gonna use my iPad, I'm gonna screen share. Um, sorry, I was just on the phone last night with my friends. I'm going to screen record it, and then I'm gonna try to put it on the side, but. I'm going to try to put it on the side, but if I can't, then I'm going to be upset. Okay, but the first app you're going to need is Canva, and then you're also going to need Pinterest. Um, follow me on Pinterest. Like, hello? I actually might make a whole nother, like, thing where it's just, like, my wallpapers and stuff, because, and, like, the stickers that I use, because that's a lot, but... That's why I was like, oh, where did you get the stickers from? Pinterest. And I tried to get like the clear ones so you don't have to go and erase it. So you want to open Canva. And you gotta pick the sizing on what you're making it for. So for my iPad, I just did like a, well, yeah, so that's what I'm making on my iPad. I'm gonna make an iPad one. And I'm just gonna make another one that I'm never gonna use again. But it's okay. Am I scared recording? No. What am I doing? So yeah, you want to open Canva and then create new design. And I just type in iPad wallpaper. Hopefully something. iPhone wallpaper. I'm just say wallpaper. See. Desktop wallpaper. iPhone wallpaper. Oh, I'm just gonna do phone wallpaper. I'm gonna see if that works. Okay, yeah, these are cute. So then you go on Pinterest, and I'm gonna remake the one I have on mine. So. something close enough to it. Like this is cute. Image. And then you're gonna set as background. Period. So then, how to make that Tyler the Creator? Um, oh God, I'm not sure what this is. I'm scared. So, how to make the Tyler the Creator ID? You said you literally just type it up, Tyler the Creator. And I'll, I think it's linked in my other video, but if not, I'll link it down below and I'll link down. I'll try to link down everything that I use. Um, don't quote me on it, please. So 
then you click to make your own. You submit the picture that you want. Um, I'm not going to do that. And then you make it, you save it. I'm not going to do all this over again because I have one. But, yeah. And then these are all the stickers I use. So you really go to Pinterest and you type up. This is where I was going. You type up like hype beast. Heavy stickers. And then stuff like these pop up. They're very cute. And I still want to put on my friends. You can even see it from my bag. And then you just type up stickers that you would like. So aesthetic stickers. So I fear I can't spell Ooh. stickers that it and then like these pop up which are like really please focus which are like really cute so yeah those are like the two and that was such a stuff that I like so I put Drake on my thing so like those are like my two categories aesthetic and high beast and yeah and then you just basically pick a bunch of stickers because that's where the junk comes from and then you add the ID to it I don't know where I put it and this is like this is like my signature I don't I put this one on everything I love it so much I don't know what it is and then you just Ooh, see, I'm not about to. And you just place things where you want it. And if the stickers don't automatically become transparent, that's what I would say. Get the free, like, Canva Premium or whatever it is. Or, yeah, Canva Pro, which is, like, right here. Which I've used my free one. I'm not paying for it because I have an account with my school one. And everything's free on that. So, I'll have to sit here and pay for it. But, um, you literally just use the eraser in the background. I would show y'all how to do it, but, like I said, I'm not paying for it. So, I'm sorry. But if you don't want to pay for it either, you can go to the eraser app and then do like a background eraser. Um, put what you need to do, erase it, and then it'll come, it will become transparent as well. So, there's many ways to do it if you don't want to pay for stuff. Like, I truly, I mean, like, money's not, like, you know. There's no need to be spending money on things you don't need to be for real, so, yeah. But, like, yeah, you just place things where you want it. It's super cute and very, um, different. Nobody has the same thing as you. This is cute. And that's why I will keep making these. I don't care. I don't care. This isn't the most prettiest example, like, this is the one that I had before, which is on the thumbnail. This is the one I have, well, this is the one I have on my iPad currently, and I love it so down. Love it bad. Love it down, down, down. But yeah, that's literally all you have to do. And then it's the same way for um, a computer, but you literally just choose a different size 
I don't know why it took me so long to say that. It's just a different size, so it's like this top wallpaper. And then it's going to be a horizontal one. And then this is the one that I use, the background that I use. Also, what I, these are the ones that I use for my computer. And same thing, gas, yeah, set image as background. And then, yeah, you just do stuff like that. And then, boom, delete that. It's not, see, that's what I'm saying. If it's not transparent, that's when you have to go to the eraser app if you don't want to pay for it. But I have some transparent ones right here. So, yeah, that's how you make it. And people are really good on my case. Like, I didn't really explain it when I did my um, iPad unboxing, which I'm sorry for. But, yeah. Hey y'all, it's Editing Mary's here, and I literally realized that I didn't show y'all the lettering after I showed my example. I was like, something's missing on my example. But yeah, it's the lettering, the bubble letters. And people were asking me, like, what like, the set was or, like, what font it was. And it's also on Canva. I'm not sure what the set is, but this is, like, where you go and find them. It's on Pinterest. Oh, perfect. I just found it. So... Like I said, I'll link that one down below as well because it's the same exact set that I used on my iPad wallpaper. And then I don't know where the one I used on my computer is, but if I find it, then yeah, I'll link it down below. That's how you make it. And if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below because I love helping people make the um, screensavers. They're so cute. See, I love the creative. I love the creative idea put, people put into it. So I love seeing others wallpapers. I'll scroll on Pinterest and I'll see it. I'm like, that's pretty. But I got this idea from TikTok. So this was not me, please. I didn't make this. But um, I got it from TikTok like maybe a year ago. And that's how I made my MacBook one. And yeah, I'm pretty sure if you just type it like Tyler Creator ID wallpaper on TikTok, some other tutorials will pop up as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm so excited to come back and make more videos. Like, I've been in my I'm not gonna lie. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will see y'all in my next video. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.